So starting today, I'm going to be sharing insights with you that will help you get a girlfriend in the next five days. And you heard me right, in the next five days. You don't have to wait three months, you don't have to wait six months. It's going to happen in the next five days. So be ready with your notepads and your pens. Take notes wherever you can because this is going to be life changing. And today I'm going to be talking about online dating and what I'll be sharing in this video is going to help you get more matches, get more dates, talk to girls and generate attraction over text and call them out on dates real soon. Once you actually execute whatever you learned in this video, your results are going to be beyond your wildest expectations. This is going to be the first video of the four video series that I've planned for you. And after the four video series, there's going to be a live workshop where you get to to ask all your questions directly to me. Now, not only that, during the release of all these four videos, during the premiere, I'm going to be live in the chat box answering your questions. So you get to ask your questions directly to me. So make sure you introduce yourself in the chat and you stick till the end because if you stay till the end, you're also going to get my online dating workbook. With this workbook, I'll also release 10 of the conversation starters for online dating, which has gotten a 95% response for me and my clients in the past. So since a long time, I've been using online dating to change my client's life in almost an instant. All right, because once you create an online dating profile, you start getting in the matches, which means instant results. It's like if you think of your dating life and your social life as gym, online dating is basically steroids for that gym all right because online dating is going to be so analytical as you only have to do it once and it's going to get you results for a very long time and before i even start i want you to look at the kind of results that you can expect after watching this video now this is the kind of results that our clients get basically women chasing them in online dating women telling them their bios are extremely good women giving them numbers in an instant and this is exactly what my clients have been experiencing on a regular basis. So let's talk about online dating. Why should you choose online dating? And what are the benefits of creating profile that actually works? Because now, understand, I've already mentioned a profile that actually works. Because if you create a profile that doesn't get you the results, if you create a profile that gets you less matches or low quality matches, if that is happening with you, it is not really getting you any real results. All right. So it's very important that you create a profile that gets you the matches, that gets you the dates, that gets you the results that you desire. So why is online dating good for you? Now, online dating is good for you because it can change your life in an instant. And I want to share a story with this. So there was this client on my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, and this is pretty recent. And we went out for a photo shoot. He got his photo shoot done. The next thing I know, he's like, hey man, I'm not getting any real results. You know, I'm getting a few matches, but they're not texting back. And I'm like, hey, why don't you just give me your online dating profile for two days? Let me show you exactly how it's done. Though we don't do it for all the clients. I just wanted to show him the results. And I wanted to show the other clients the results that you can get in just two days. And we got around 65 matches or 70 matches. And he got around five to six numbers out of those 70 matches within 48 hours and he was also talking to around 50 girls all right 50 girls he was still talking to and all of these matches were high quality matches now when he opened his online dating profile it, he was mind blown he was like what just happened in like 48 hours so technically if you think about it if you want to improve your dating life online dating is one of the fastest ways and that is what he realized and not only him all my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients realized that and it sort of blew their minds that you can just change your dating life in 48 hours it's that easy so another reason why i love online dating is it's the easiest way to build abundance in your dating life if you're a guy who's been single all throughout his life or if you're a guy who's a busy working professional who has never been in a relationship or maybe who has been single for years who has now not gone out on a date for the past two years let me just tell you your dating life can literally change in a matter of 48 hours in a matter of 48 hours you can start setting dates you can start meeting new people talking to new girls and you can build an abundance in your dating life now i had this one client who took a loan he bought all the programs he bought he took the boot camp he took the online dating profile creation he took everything all right and this guy was around 18 at that point of time he just turned 18 all right he's just 18 he starts swiping he starts learning about texting he starts texting women and now he's dating about five women casually he's dating five women casually Actually, and this guy who was a completely introverted guy, he's a, he was a virgin before joining the program, but this guy got crazy results as well. And you know, it sort of blew his mind. I just thought if I got one girl of my dream life and something like that, I will be so damn happy. But now I'm getting hundreds of them. Uh, should I happy or not? I'm like, I'm excited. I'm like, I'm like popped out like, my happiness is like out of the box. So as you can see, it's one of the easiest ways to build abundance in your dating life. Now, what I've also realized is it doesn't even matter if you're a busy professional or not. If you're a guy who's low on in funds, online dating is also good because it's low investment. You just have to invest once and you'll be reaping the results for a very long time after making that investment. And personally, what I also feel about online dating, it's like dominoes. You know, it's like as convenient as dominoes, like a pizza in 30 minutes. It's like a girl at your doorstep in 30 minutes. You know, if you get good at this, literally, you can just create your dating life 
within 30 minutes. So what I would do generally is if you, if I don't have a date for Sunday, I would create an online dating profile by Sunday morning, use it by Sunday afternoon and set up a date by Sunday evening. It's literally that easy once you follow all the steps mentioned in this video. Now, my personal belief is drawing water from all the sources. And that is why it's important for you to learn everything, whether it's online dating, approaching girls during the daytime, whether it's a coffee shop, whether it's a cafe or whether it's a shopping you know, mall or a street or approaching girls during the nighttime, whether it's a bar or a club. So you need to learn everything so you can create abundance in your dating life. And that's why I've created this four video series just for you. And guys, I don't want you to miss out on anything. So I want you to click the subscribe button and the bell button right next to it so that you get notified when the next video comes out. And before that, I want to share some texting tips. And guys, these texting tips have gotten results to 5,000 men in the past and has helped them set the dates that they really desire. So take out your pen, take out your paper, wherever you want to take notes because this is going to be life-changing. I've never shared this on YouTube before. Even before we talk about how to text a woman, let's talk about the objective of texting a woman. Now, a lot of guys create confusion all over this. You know, they're texting the girl to be their friends, be their, you know, phone up friend or be their text buddies or maybe just texting the girl for small talk. Guys, all of that is not really required. Understand, the girl knows why she's there on an online dating application. You should know why you're there on an online dating application. It's just to build enough comfort and trust with the girl so that you can get her out on a date. Now, a few things you want to keep in mind is you can't fuck her through text. And this is what a lot of people try to do is like try to, you know, okay, I will just talk dirty with her. Please don't do that. I mean, 90% of the guys are already trying to do that and the girls just get repelled. If you do that too quickly, what happens is the girl will get repelled. She's going to think of you as a creep and then she's just going to stop texting you. She's just going to stop replying to you. So make sure that you just use the text to get her out on a date. That's all. Now let's talk about the texting structure. Now guys, this is a very advanced texting structure that I'm going to share with you. This is not the basic things that, you know, people give out on the YouTube videos. Just text her this message, just text her that message. And also understand that I'm not going to leave you there. In the workbook, in the online dating workbook that we have for you in our school community, we'll give you pre-written text. All you need to do is click in the description below, join the school community, and you will have access to the free workbook that I've created just for you. Now you'll have access to pre-written in text and I'll tell you exactly how you can make more text for more text from those period in text. So my texting structure is basically I initiate the conversation with a girl and for that I send her an opener. Now the opener should be something which is not generic. It should be something short and concise, something a little bit narcissistic, something that shows the girl that you're a guy who knows his own value. You're a guy who's a little cocky but who's also fun. So that is the opener and the opener's job is just to get you a response. And one of the openers that I found worked the best for me was call your mom and tell her you found the man. Now I've given you multiple variations of this opener in your workbook. Please don't use this opener because this has been burnt all over guys. This has literally been burnt by my clients and my own self. So please don't use this opener. You're going to get more of them in the workbook. And to get your hands on the workbook, guys, please understand, to get your hands on the workbook, I want you to watch this video till the end. And I want you to drop a comment and let me know what you learned from this video. And only those who drop a comment would be accepted in our school community. Now, that being said, I initiate the interaction. Once I'm talking to the girl, the, you know, she's replying back. That's just the opener's job. So if the opener can get you a response, it is successful. If your opener is generic, it won't get you a response because girls get a lot of those messages. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, cutie. What's going on? What's up? So your opener does not have to be generic. So it has to be a little non-generic. Now, after the opener, generally what I would do is I would look and observe the profile of the girl and I would just give her a compliment on, you know, maybe the pictures, maybe the bio, maybe something she has written about herself. And if I don't find anything interesting, if I'm not able to find an interesting picture, if I'm not able to find an interesting, you know, write-up, what I would do is I would have these pre-written messages which would be open-ended questions so that she gets a chance to tell me more about herself she gets the chance to invest in the conversation now the reason i'm asking open-ended questions is because i don't want to ask her questions like what do you do and guys again these open-ended questions are also going to be non-generic so it's not going to be like what do you do where do you live it's not going to be questions which are going to be mostly one words and you know i have one question which i ask girls and you will see that question when i show you the case studies which is going to happen in a moment and that question is what's the most dominant emotion in your life now these are the kind of questions i would ask a girl and guys don't worry we got you covered over there as well everything is there in the workbook you don't need to do anything just click on the school link in the description below and join the school community and you will have access to the workbook now after the compliment or the open-ended question 
I will carry the conversation forward, maybe two or three messages where, you know, I'm just talking to her, getting to know more about her situation and also telling her a little bit about my own self. And once I think that I've built enough comfort and trust, and that is when I go in for setting up the date. I set up the date before I take her number. Now, this is also important. 90% of the cases I would do that to solidify the number close, but in some cases I would also just take the number and set up a date on a call. Now, it's all up to your convenience. You know, if you think that the girl is ready, she's willing to give a number, go ahead for it. Get a number, get her on a call and set up the date then. But if you think, okay, this girl is going to take a little bit more time, text her a little bit more. Maybe you can have a bumble audio or a hinge audio call and then you can proceed to getting a number. So whatever you follow, you know, the end result is getting a number. And once you get her number, it's time to get her on WhatsApp or get her on a call. Don't text her every day, all right? Don't do the mistake of texting her every day. Set up a plan maybe one to two days forward and then just text her in the middle once and solidify the plan. Go and meet her out on the date. Now, just to show you how it's done, I want to break down my personal text and some of the texts of my clients who have gotten really good results in the last one month. Now, as you can see, I'm following the structure I told you about. And this is the first text from the girl because it's Bumble. So she's like, hey, I'm like, hey, see, hey, how are you? Now, guys, as I've already mentioned, stay away from the generic shit, which is like, hey, I'm fine. How are you? Hey, thank you. Stay away from the generic shit. So I'm like, just a bit overworked, underslept and underpaid. How about you? Ha, ah, same thing. Underpaid is so underrated. Uh, I always feel underpaid, so I can agree. Now, as you can see, there's a banter going on over, over there. And of course, if I would have just gone with a generic text like, hey, I'm good, hey, I'm fine, then the conversation would have gone to a boring tangent. So, what's your name, cutie? She tells me a name. What's yours? I tell her my name. And uh, again, the same thing. What's the most dominant emotion in your life? Sadness. What about you? I'm like, is everything all right? She's like, I'm turning 26 soon, so I just feel a little bad growing older and older. I'm like, you should be happy, not sad. The world is going to shit anyways. Now again, this is just a basic banter that I'm doing with her. And this is all the comfort and trust that is required to set up the date, guys. So just kidding. Yeah, it is though, lol. So I'm like, sorry, I'd been busy with some work. Didn't open the app for a while. She's like, it's okay, totally understand. So how did you spend your weekend? Now understand, each message that I'm, you know, texting her will tell me a little bit about her lifestyle, like how does she generally spend her weekend and, you know, this will give me a better idea about when should I suggest the date, should I suggest it on a weekday or a weekend. So, like I was planning my trip, it's my birthday on 19, so I'm flying tonight to Phuket. I guess you were working on the weekend, I'm like, sounds like a plan, safe travels. Yeah, I just had an event coming up, so I was preparing for that. Uh, so solo traveling or with friends, friends. Thank you so much. I'm sure you will be amazing. Thank you for that. That's a good plan. Would love to connect with you once you're back. Now, guys, this is not very crazy texting. This is not, you know, I'm not flirting with her a lot. It's just a little bit more direct and you will see what happens. So I'm like, have a safe trip, cutie. Happy birthday in advance. Then she's like, thank you so much and all the best to you. And I'm like, thanks. So I might be deleting the app soon. Would you like to connect on WhatsApp? She's like, sure. And that's just what you need to get a number. The next one, and this one was a girl who was investing really less. Now you see these girls who are just writing one word, you know, one words, and I'll show you what happened. So, hey, hey P, sup, overworked, underslept and underpaid. Now I know this line is gonna get burnt as soon as it's out, so I'll create a new one. Haha, <laughs> Netflix. And guys, in the workbook, you're gonna find a lot more lines like this. So don't worry, join the school community and you'll get the workbook. So the girl is saying, haha, <laughs> Netflix. Sorry, I'd been busy with some work. Didn't open the app for a while. Oh, okay, no problem. So what's your name? Uh, she tells me a name. <clears throat> Yours? It's Arunav, nice name. You seem cute. Then she's like, thank you. So what's the most dominant emotion in your life these days? She's like, I think love. Interesting, mind sharing some? She's like, yeah, sure. Let's connect on an audio call today if you're available. Okay, sure, we can. What time? You tell, 8 p.m. today? She's like, yeah. Hey, I'm getting a free a little late. Would you be up? Now that day I was not free, so I thought, okay, why don't I just text her? And she's like, let's meet tomorrow. And I'm like, let's do that. Text me here. I text her my number. Now, one thing guys you don't want to do is if you don't have a good profile, you don't want to text the girl your number. But in this case, since I have an amazing profile, I text her my number because I'm confident that she's going to text back. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to create that good profile later in this video. So watch till the end. Now she texts me, okay, morning, morning. So what? plans for the day now at, by this time she did not text me at that time so I'm, she's like let's meet i'm like let's do that what's your number let's kind of connect on a call and plan it out so she texts me a number and then 
The next thing is I WhatsApp her and she's not replying on WhatsApp. So I'm like, no answer, no reply on WhatsApp. She's like, okay. Now I think this girl was a stoner or this girl was a very lethargic and lazy girl. I'll show you what happens later. So I text her on WhatsApp now. It's like, hey, it's out now. You can save my number. Hey, sup? Nothing much. You tell. I'm bored. I'm like, I'm going to this bar. Why don't you join me? She's like, oh, nice place. Next time, you enjoy. Then I text her the next day. Want to catch up today? Since she was the one who initiated the plan before, she's like, yeah, we can. I'm like, 8 p.m. works. She's like, yes. Can we connect over a, a quick call? Just got free. What's up? Now the girl is taking a lot of time in replying. She's replying in one word, and she just wants to meet. So it's probably she's looking for something really casual, like just a one night stand or something. And she's like, okay, hey, you want to meet? So that is what you know. Everything is going towards. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, yes, let's do that. Where are you right now? Now, guys, understand. Every text that I'm texting her is no small talk. It's just about setting the date. It's just about when I'm going to see her, when I'm going to meet her, and uh, you know, in this case, in this particular case, I don't really need to build that comfort and trust because she's looking for a one night stand, and I can completely see because she's the one who's suggesting let's meet, let's meet, and uh, she's like, can we meet a little late? So I can clearly understand that this girl just wants to meet for a bit, probably hook up and just leave. So I'm like, what time? She's like. Then and uh, then she gives me a call. I, I spoke to her and I think we got disconnected. Then I tell her, let me know if you're up for catching up. And at 10 p.m., I was just a little pissed. I was like, this girl is not meeting me. And then she's you know suggesting me a time one time after another. First 8 p.m. now 10 p.m. So I just tried like my basic line. And this is you know what uh, I coached a lot of men in the Attraction Academy, and they were just mind blown because this gets really crazy results. And I'm like, you're pathetic. Now why does this work? Is because this raises the girl's emotions a lot. And she's like, hi. At 10:30, I'm like, it's more than 10 p.m. Now, at this point, there's no point of fighting with her or arguing with her because the moment I start fighting or arguing, she's going to disappear. So I'm like, it's more than 10 p.m. already. Am I going to see you tonight? Straightforward. And she's like, if you're able to come, I'm like, come to this place. She's like, yeah. Can you share your location? She shares her location and then I go and meet her. All right. So it's that easy, guys. This probably this whole thing took me a day or two to set. And I mean, girls can be sometimes a little bit unresponsive. But if you know how to play it right, if you know how to do your texting right, it's as easy as this. Now I want to show you one of my clients texting and over here, as you can see, pretty basic texting. See my work, my work schedule depends on how many contracts we have. What about you? I'm, he's like busy during the weekdays, free over the weekends. I'm generally able to manage time as I want to on the weekends. So oh, that, that's really nice. How about we connect on a call tomorrow evening? Would love to know you more. Sure, no issues. Sure, works. Want to collect, connect over here or a phone call? Good morning. It's better to connect over a call. Good afternoon. By the way, we can connect over Instagram. Now, this now this client particularly did not want to uh, you know talk to the girl on Instagram because the moment you take it on Instagram, it's a slower route. All right. If you don't have a good Instagram, do not do that. So in this one, I don't have the app installed on my phone. Just use it for business. But I can understand it can be important to verify a person. So here's my Instagram. And you can share your number. I'll text you later in the evening. So as you can see, it's very simple. It's very simple texting. And that's all there is. You also need to understand this kind of texting will only work if you have a good profile. Now, what is a good profile? A good profile is a profile that gets you the kind of matches you want. And a good profile is a profile that gets you an abundance of matches. So it's not a profile which is getting you one or two matches a week. It is a profile that is getting you at least 20 to 30 matches a week. And it's very easy to create that good profile. So let's talk about that. Now, to create a good profile, in order to create a good profile, you need good pictures you need a good bio now before even talking about what kind of pictures you want to select and what kind of pictures you want to get clicked it's very important to create a profile story and to create a profile story you basically need to understand yourself first what kind of personality do you have based on that what kind of girls do you want what kind of woman do you want to target what kind of relationship are you looking for and based on all of that i personally decide the kind of attributes i want to present and i'll give you an example of what i mean now, if I want to target, you know, the kind of badass girls, maybe a girl who has, ex, you know, tattooed all over, and maybe I'm just looking for a one night stand, then I would create a profile that would show more masculinity, more dominance. But if I want a relationship and I want to target a girl, maybe a really nice girl, a girl next door, then I probably would not show that much authority, show that much dominance, show that much masculinity. Instead, I would show a caring nature through my profile. Instead, I would show, you know, a genuine person with a nice smile, with a good group of friends, some stability. And that is what I'm going to present through my profile. So it's very important for you to understand the profile story. Now, you might be thinking, hey man, this is going to be extremely tough. But don't worry, as I've already mentioned, we got you covered in each step of the way. All you need to do is click the link in the description by the end of the video, go to the school community. You will have the online dating workbook 
over there for you. Now in the workbook, I've personally helped you create your own profile story and it's going to be a two minutes or three minutes task that you need to do. And once you've decided the profile story, that is the time when you decide what kind of pictures you want to click. And guys, for inspiration, I would strongly suggest go to Instagram, search for male influencers, search for uh, good photography or search for male fashion photography. And you'll find a lot of pictures, a lot of people with different kind of pictures. And I'm not saying that you can imitate all of those pictures, but some of those pictures will stand out. And those are the kind of pictures you need to click. And apart from that, you can also go to Pinterest. You can search over there you know the kind of poses you're looking for so for example if you're looking for a pose man with a dog man sitting on a bench man reading a book so all of these poses are going to be over there and you can just see those poses and you can try to replicate those poses now one thing you need to understand is the kind of photography that works in online dating is completely candid photography. So, so the more staged it looks, what will happen is you won't get a lot of matches, okay? The matches are gonna decline significantly. So it's important that it doesn't look that staged. It's important that your online dating profile looks like this is pictures just out of your daily life. It's not that you took a day out and did a photo shoot, which you need to do, all right? You need to take a day out of your life. You need to do a photo shoot. But before that, select the pictures you want to imitate, all right? Put them in a folder, then, select the right kind of fashion that you need to wear. Now, a lot of guys are like, hey man, I don't have enough money to get, you know, to have a complete wardrobe upgrade. It's gonna cost me 20,000, 30,000. That's not the case. Now, earlier we had a program where we used to create online dating profiles for men. And we have created more than 500 successful online dating profiles all around the globe. And there were guys who used to come up to me and they, they would say that, hey man, I just have like a 5,000 budget, I have a 10,000 budget, doesn't matter, man. If, even if you have a 2,000 to 3,000 rupees budget, you just have to be a little smart about acquiring the fashion and that's all. Now, if you have a less budget, try websites like Mintra, Coos, different websites, try street shopping locations if you want to get the feel of the fabric. And if you have a good budget, you can go to Zara, Calvin Klein, you can go to Tommy Hilfiger. And if you have an extremely good budget, you can buy some luxury brands as well. But you need to understand that to create a good online dating profile, you don't really need that luxury brands. All right, you don't really need them. All you need is a good look. And to get good looks, you can also check out some magazines. You can check out men's XP. You can check out different men magazine, you know, men's fashion magazines, which is going to help you understand more about the kind of fashion that is going on right now. Now, once you have acquired the clothing, the next thing is to go for a fresh cut. And guys, what I mean by a fresh cut is go to a good, expensive hairstylist because this is the part where you actually need to focus. You need to focus on your grooming. So I would select a Tonian guy, maybe a look salon and go to the creative stylist over there. I'd book an appointment with the creative stylist and that's what we used to do for all our clients. We used to send them for a good hairstyle and it doesn't matter if you have to spend, you know, maybe 500, 600 rupees more than you, than you do on a hairstyle. It really does not matter because this is what you have to do only once. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're putting the best foot forward. And how do you do that? Is by getting a good hairstylist to work on you and asking him questions. Now, a lot of guys would just go there, you know, sit at the hairstylist and be like, hey, just give me a, you know, hair upgrade or something, hairstyling upgrade. And the stylist would just do a very lazy job. It's, it's very important that you're active when you're going for the haircut, all right? It's important that you talk to the stylist and you need to ask him, hey man, why don't you show me some examples according to my facial structure? What do you think would suit me? All right, please show me some examples. And the guy shows you some examples, then you go and select those examples. And this way you can get a much better haircut. Now, once your grooming is done, it's time to select the right photographer. And guys, I'm gonna let you in on some trade secrets, some secrets of the business that I've never shared in public. And today I'm gonna do that. So if you wanna plan a professional photo shoot for yourself, here's the secret to finding a photographer. Now, how you need to find a photographer is go to the Facebook group and just write the city name and photography in front of it or photographers club and you'll find a lot of Facebook groups. Now this way you can you know just put in a message and you'll get that pre-framed message in the online dating workbook that we personally use to find the photographers. So to get that online dating workbook all you need to do is click in the link in the description below and join the school community. Now once you have the online dating workbook you can copy and paste the message as a template in the Facebook groups as well as you can just search online on Instagram, the city name plus photographer or photography, either before it or after it. Now, if you use these two keywords, what is gonna happen is a lot of pictures are gonna appear. And I like Instagram more, but Instagram photographers are generally a little bit more expensive than Facebook photographers. So on Instagram, you'll find better photographers, people who have better you know, picture taking skills, I would say, and then you can also see through them. So you can see which photographer has you know, better candid photography, which photographer has better pictures where it doesn't seem that staged. And I would generally select that kind of a photographer. And then once you have selected the photographer, it's very important 
same as the stylist to ask him what kind of equipment he's using so he knows that you have a little bit of an idea about photography all right so i would ask him hey man do you have a 50 mm lens uh, what kind of camera equipment are you using all right that's great you, can you show me some of your best work can you show me some of your creative work and based on that i will add or reduce some pictures in the online dating profiles of the clients and that's what you need to do for yourself so once that part is done create a pdf Give it to the photographer the kind of pictures you want to click. Sit on a call with him and decide the locations beforehand. Now, once you are deciding the location, it's also very important to go and check the locations for your own self to see what kind of a lighting is over there, what kind of a location is that, how many people are over there. And I would generally select a time like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. so that there's not a lot of crowd and the photography is not disturbed, all right? The photo shoot is not disturbed at all. So select a time, select the right time, finalize the shoot and go to the shoot. Guys, Go to the shoot, tell the photographer to come over there and when he's clicking the pictures, click all the pictures in a landscape as well as a portrait mode because what you need post that is, you know, Bumble will accept landscape, Tinder will only accept portrait. So you need both the pictures with different angles, different expressions. So by the end of the shoot, you can select the best pictures from the whole photo shoot. And this would probably take you like four to five hours, depending on your experience levels. I have been known to get some shoots done in two to three hours. All right, guys, maybe two to three shoots in two to three hours. So it doesn't really matter. The time you consume over here is based on your experience, based on your speed of just changing the clothing, based on your readiness and based on your whole planning of the photo shoot. So once you have invested four to five hours, tell the photographer to click multiple angles with multiple expressions and for expressions, before going to the location, check out some YouTube videos, expressions for men, photography, expressions for men. Now, once you have worked on the expressions, it's a lot easier because the photos will turn out really good. And he has clicked in about 200 to 300 pictures during the whole shoot. And then you only need to select five to six pictures that are the best pictures from the whole photo shoot. And that is it. That is it guys, your dating life would be changed forever after that. But one more thing you need to do is you need to craft a bio. Now I know a lot of you might be thinking, hey man, I'm not a writer, I've not written a word. All I do in my bio is 5'9", traveler, you know, footballer, love soccer or something like that. And that's all right, man. If you're in that particular level right now, don't worry because, you know, when I was starting out and I used to learn from articles online. I used to write the similar bios, the bios which didn't really get me any results. And you have seen the kind of results that our bios get to people. And I'll share the secret of writing that kind of a bio. So I'll give you one bio formula over here. And in the workbook, we have mentioned all the bio formulas there is. So over here, I'll give you one bio formula. And that bio formula is pretty simple. Tell her about what you do in a witty way. You know, give her an idea about the date, how the date is going to look, and then have a qualifier. A qualifier is basically where you're telling the girl, okay, these are the kind of women I'm looking for. So it's not a very generic thing, but I would generally use like uh, a qualifier, for example, looking for someone who doesn't complain much. That is a very basic thing, but the girl also gets to know that this is a guy who's not just looking out for anyone. He's looking for a girl who's a little positive in life and she has to qualify basically to be good enough for you. So that is the job of the qualifier. Now, once I have the whole bio crafted, uh, what I would do is I'd go to chat GPT and guys, this is the trade secret again. Go to chat GPT, write down your bio over there, whatever you do. And you can just write to chat GPT, to, you know, express my work in a witty way. And suddenly you have it. Express my, uh, you know, I want to give an idea of the, this kind of a date to a woman in less than three lines. All right. So you have it over there as well. Now with chat GPT, it has become so easy to create bios and it's like a trade secret. So. This is another thing that if you have not using yet, you should get on it because this is not going to take you more than five minutes to craft your own bio. And as you can see in the background, we're already, we have already crafted a bio and this is how easy it is. Now, if you want to know how to use ChatGPT to its full potential for creating bios, we have mentioned it in the workbook and the workbook is in our school community. All you need to do, click the link in the pinned comment as well as the description. You can go there and you can join the school community. Now let's talk about creating the profile. Now a lot of guys, what they would do is they would get the photo shoot done and they would just create the profile on the same profile. They would just change the pictures. You need to understand you need a hard reset. And what I mean by a hard reset is you need to delete the profile that you have. You need to uninstall the application. You need to reinstall the application. You need to recreate the profile and then you need to upload the pictures. You need to understand that if you use the new pictures in an old profile, your new pictures can get shadow banned and then you use those same new pictures in a new profile, you might not get any matches. So it's important to do a completely new photo shoot 
it's also important to create a completely new profile. And if you can, if you have access to a laptop, if you have access to a different phone, use that as well. You know, there's no, it's a no brainer guys. Use a different number if you can, use a different phone if you can. This is going to really help you with your matches and it's going to help you get more matches than using an old profile. So please don't do that because I remember a lot of times what we would do is we would have a photo shoot with a client, we would give him the profile and he would just start changing the pictures and using it as, you know, a new profile. But that doesn't work. Then we need to do a reshoot. And when we ask him, he's like, oh, hey man, I forgot to delete my profile. But you know, that is the problem. That is the problem a lot of men face. So if you're facing that kind of an issue where your profile is not getting any traction, need to fucking delete that shit right now. Delete it, uninstall it, reinstall it, and then recreate it. Now, for all of those watching till here, I would appreciate if you can drop a comment, let me know what you learned in this video, and if you are liking this video series, because we will be creating a lot more in future. I want you to click on the subscribe button and the bell button right next to it, so you don't miss out any of these videos that is gonna come in this series. Because I don't want you to miss out on life-changing information that is gonna help you get a girlfriend in the next five days. Now, creating the profile is probably the first part. Learning about texting is probably the third part. There's also a second part in the middle, which is called insights into the algorithm, all right? You need to know how the algorithm of an online dating profile works. Only then you can, you know, have an unfair advantage over other men where you're getting more matches than other guys and you're in the top 1% of online dating profiles, which are getting 99% of the matches because that is how online dating operates. So the top 1% of the profiles are gonna get the 99% of the girls matches and the 99% of the profiles of men's profile are not going to get any matches. So if you are in the 99% ratio right now, do not worry because once you understand about how to use the algorithm, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be mind blowing. The results are going to change instantly. First thing is mass swiping. Now I see a lot of guys, you know, have confusion over this. People are saying do not mass swipe or some people are saying, yeah, do mass swipe. But what I personally believe, my personal opinion, working with a bunch of clients, at least 500 clients, helping them with their online dating profiles in the last year, what I've realized is if you're a guy who's swiping one girl two girl looking at every girl looking at each profile then probably you're swiping like 100 girls in one go that's the max but if you're a guy who's you know working on his laptop he's just swiping left right left right maybe having a, a view in the middle and just keep on swiping you're probably swiping like 300 to 400 girls now the app will only reward users who are more active so if you're a guy who's swiping continuously you're definitely more active and mass swiping is going to help you but not all the girls to the right you have to swipe some girls to the left so the application does not think that you're a bot, all right? And that is one thing I did, you know, if, if I'm doing my work, maybe watching a movie, I just keep on swiping girls. And then I understand you might be thinking, hey man, that's that means that I'm going to match with a lot of girls I'm not really attracted to. And that's okay, because that's a part of the strategy. Now, once you match with those girls, initially you have to learn about text game a little bit, which basically means texting a girl, generating attraction. So learn text game over there. Or once you have learned text game, then you can just simply unmatch those goals as soon as you get the match. The reason why I would tell you to unmatch those goals is because the app will reward a person who's active and who's talking to, engaging with the people, the matches that he's getting. So if you're not engaging with the matches that you're getting, you're, termed, you're tagged as inactive. And that is bad for your profile as it will go back in the ELO score. So it's important that you do mass swiping, but without auto swipers. And guys, this is also one big thing. A lot of people have these applications like auto swipers and, you know, applications which copy your move, your chances of getting shadow banned drastically increases. And you don't want that if you have put in such an effort in your profile, you really don't want to get shadow banned. So stay away from auto swipers because you know, there's a better way which is just swiping where your mind is in a passive state where you don't have to literally use your mind. You can just keep on swiping at that time and unmatch all the girls that you're not attracted to and talk to the girls that you're attracted to so that you can maintain that conversation flow, get that number and get that date. Now, for those of you watching till here, I have a gift for you. And that gift is 10 of my own conversation openers which have a 95% response rate and all of this in the workbook that I've mentioned and if you've skipped any part do not skip any part if you want to know how to get your hands on the workbook all you need to do is click the link in the description or the pinned comments and join our school community and in our school community you're going to have access to a free course plus the workbook so make sure that you join the school community as soon as you can now that being said a lot of you might still be thinking hey man you know i know all of this online dating still doesn't work for me now one thing i want you to understand is that was my state back in 2015 or 2014 if you would have come up to me and you would have told me hey man online dating is so crazy it, it gets you the kind of results you want i'd be like make it work for me all right, because I had those kind of beliefs, uh, you know, either I'm too young, either the girls are looking for gold, either they're just gold diggers, they're looking for people who, are, who have a lot of money, either I'm short, either, you know, I'm not good looking enough, and that is what a lot of people think. But what I want you to understand is online dating works a lot more if you have a profile story, if you have professionally short pictures, than if you're good looking. There are a lot of good looking men in online dating who are suffering like crazy. 
all right because just because they're not getting the results so the profile doesn't get any traction because the profile is not well planned enough if you don't have good pictures you don't have good lighting you don't have good framing in those pictures the pictures don't really give a vibe out which i basically mean is that a picture should be worth a million words and in most of the cases what i've seen in online dating men really don't pay attention to the kind of pictures they're clicking maybe it's a gym selfie maybe it's a bathroom selfie maybe it's just a lonely picture of you on the sofa and that's what i did and i was never getting the result and i used to think hey man I'm not getting any response. I'm not getting any results. Maybe I'm ugly and it created a lot of negative beliefs. So if that is happening with you, follow the right procedure because, because you don't want to create a negative self-identity just by using online dating. Now, another reason why I feel online dating doesn't work for a lot of people is, and I've noticed this with clients, they come to the photo shoot and they're not prepared. They're not prepared with the clothing. The clothing is in a bag. It's all, you know, crumpled. And that won't work. That won't really work, man. Because if you get the clothing like that, the pictures are going to be bad. All right. If you if you don't plan, then you plan to fail. And that is what happens with a lot of guys. The, maybe the clothing is not right. Accessories are not there. Props are not there. And they just come to the photo shoot just by walking. And they're like, okay, please do my shoot. And that's just not how it happens. You still need to put an effort once. Now, there has been a situation in the past where I've created a profile for a person. And I've given it to him. And he's not testing the profile. He's just, you know, he's not even swiping. He just creates the profile and expects the matches to come. First of all, you need to swipe. Secondly, you need to test the profile as well. You need to optimize the profile even after getting the pictures done. Once you have the pictures, and you still need to see which comment combination of the pictures works better and you can use photo feeler for that you can upload the fo photos on photo feeler and then you can get a good idea about which pictures are getting more response another thing i realized with a lot of clients who fail with online dating which is one of the easiest things in you know to help you with your dating life is they give up too early they give up way too early in, in a week's time they're like hey man i'm tired of this and i don't think i can swipe anymore or they're just saying hey man it's too much talking to girls it's too much texting girls do not give up all right do not give up understand any skill that you want to learn will take some time and in terms of your dating life online dating is the kind of skill which is going to take the least amount of time all right if you're going out and approaching a girl it's a different story altogether but if you're using online dating it's going to be a lot easier than just going out and approaching a girl because it's more analytical you don't really have to face your fears and you just have to sit in the comfort of your own home and text a girl that's all and with this the last reason why your profile might not work is you're not using paid subscription features for on the online dating application and i've seen this with guys they come up to me and they're like hey man i'm not getting any matches and the profile is, you know, just a normal Bumble subscription or normal, normal Tinder subscription. They have a good profile, but the point is that the profile is not even visible to girls. That is why they're not getting matches because, of course, it's an application. An application is a business and they need to pay their employees. And for that, they would always, they would always suggest users who are using paid features. But there's a catch. Now, personally, I would no never use paid features, you know, for a month long or more than a month. I would use the shortest amount of subscription I can buy because if you buy a lifetime membership on Bumble, and I've experienced this, you stop getting matches. In a month's time, you'll stop getting matches and you'll be like, fuck, it's a waste because you have to delete the profile. You have to buy another subscription and you have to create another profile. So it's a waste of time. So do not do that, guys. All right please. So I hope you learned everything there is to know about online dating. And if you follow this video correctly, you're going to get results beyond your wildest expectations. Results just like this. I'm so, so much happy with the results that it's like more than my expectations. So guys, I hope you like the initiative of creating this four video series. And in the next video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about approaching a girl during the day, whether it's in a cafe, mall, a shopping street, wherever, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to teach you how to approach that girl, how to generate instant attraction, get her number and set the date. Now, all of these videos are going to help you get a girlfriend in the next five days. So do take action. And if you like the content, if you like the series that I've created for you, do hit the subscribe button, the like button and throw in a comment below. And guys, if you want access to the workbook, all you need to do is join the school community. For that, you need to click the link in the description join the community, throw in a comment in this video, tell me what you learned from this video. And if you like the four video series that I'm doing for you, please support us. Watch these videos till the end because I'm going to be there in these premieres and you can ask your questions directly to me. And for the fifth video, as I've already mentioned, it's not going to be a video. It's going to be a live workshop where you get to interact directly to me. So I hope you like the video and for the next video, just click over here.